Hey guys, this is what an influencer marketer does in a day. Maybe you're watching this video because you kind of want to do what I'm doing. I mean, being a founder of a successful agency that makes Gary Vaynerchuk sleep uneasy at night is not a simple task. For those who don't know, I founded X8 Media. We are an influencer agency that works with tech platforms and civic movements. Essentially, we're kind of like the sugar daddy for creators where we take a brand's budget and allocate it to people that are the right creators. I start up my day blasting EDM music in my ear. I like to make my eardrums bleed. It helps me focus. Nah, I'm playing, but you should definitely check out my Spotify playlist. I'll link it below. I have some really good jams. Then I go into my client work. My company is divided into three tiers. I know, I'm kind of running an MLM at this point. At the very top, we have me, the brand, and my legal team. This is... <laughs> Typically I do the following. I'll ask the brand what their budget is for the month, negotiate the contracts, pitch the right creators to the brand to see if they're interested. And my attorney slash my legal team will draft up all the papers, the agreements, so we don't get into a lawsuit. After this stage, I'll typically pass it to the second layer, my team members. Currently I have two people working for me that's in this section. We have Becky, who is my new assistant. She handles day-to-day -day communications and my email inbox. Essentially, if I need to communicate to the client or creator, she'll handle that so I'm not too stressed. Abby is X8 Media's copywriter and social media manager. Abby is just epic. She writes all the newsletters, press releases, anything that's literally physical writing, she'll handle that. And she also runs our social media accounts. So if you see a story post from the TGR club on Insta, it's her. Then the last layer, the project gets passed to the creators we work with. Once we have the brand deliverables, it gets passed to the second layer of the team. Then the creators are responsible to film and produce the content. I also have two editors, Katie and Amanda. I love you guys. They make the videos you see here and also work with the creators if they need to have editing help. This MLM sugar daddy process is currently very busy. We currently have three clients right now. Two weeks ago, we signed a huge household name. We also signed a huge platform. And I also have a brand that's interested to work with me for my personal brand stuff. That's a freelancing platform. For now, let's call them whale one, whale two, and whale three. Legally, I can't say their names. I'm sorry. Most of the time, the brand comes to us, but I have cold emailed before. A lot. Last month, I cold emailed Chipotle that landed me a meeting with the head of marketing on their team. Nothing really came out of the meeting, but it was still nice to meet them and we're working on a future project. Something to note is projects are hit or miss. There was a time where our company emailed 300 companies to only land one email response. I know, if I got rejected like that in my dating life, I'd be but sometimes I get messages out of the blue. Two weeks ago, I was sitting on the toilet when I got an email from Whale One. The subject line meant, we need a creator right now and we have a lot of money. Immediately, I just shat two times faster. I'm like, perfect, we have the creators ready, my attorney's ready to sign the papers, let's go. But other times, it's a painstaking long process of a bunch of no's before we get a single yes. Second to X8 Media is Create. It's Cre. Eight. Get it? Create? Create is like my second child. It's new, it's shiny, and it's getting a little bit more attention than the first. Create is an incubator program where we help early stage creators launch long-term businesses. Currently, our clients include King Science and Nutshell Animations. But there's a few more too. Like any child, we're having issues. She cries a lot at night, AKA I'm having a bit of restless nights lately. Essentially a problem with Create is we don't have a clear way to define the value of a creator. We can't predict solid revenue consistently. With most incubator programs, you have to clearly define the evaluation of the company. In startups, people do this before they raise money. The thing is, you can't really evaluate a creator like creators make money through brand deals ad sets merch it's just so hard to fully define because it's always changing every creator is different and just because one person in this industry makes this much you can't you can't just make that crossover so we're thinking to pivot to a social token incubator social tokens are a way for people to create their own currency through blockchain think about the way chuck e cheese has their own tokens you can create your own one as a creator and make money through it I've been meeting with the following partners. I met Cooper, he's a crypto strategist at Friends with Benefits. Ruben, he's an ex-product manager and lawyer at Coinbase. Mahesh, co-founder at Rally. And this morning, I even had a meeting with the CEO at Coinvice. Basically, from the conversations I've had with investors and people in crypto, there's a lot of overlap with creators and cryptocurrency, but there's a gap. There's not really a service that helps creators build their own tokens. It's really fucking hard right now. <laughs> essentially. So I was thinking, what if I just turned the create incubator to a create DAO? A DAO stands for decentralized anonymous organization. I think, let me make sure. Decentralized autonomous, decentralized autonomous organization. Oh, fuck. 
centralized auto, 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 autonomous the centralized autonomous organizations yes i like how i'm building a company that's called dao when i don't know what it is <laughs> essentially what we'd be doing is we'd be helping creators launch their own social tokens and building community around it kind of similar how y combinator helps early stage founders launch their first company i mean if caa and wme which are huge influencer agencies can become billion dollar companies why can't create dao do the same i imagine us being like a portfolio of tokens like from all the creators we've worked with we have this bundle of creators and i don't know i could see it having its own app website i mean my dad leon has been pitching me on a bunch of this like i'm pretty excited i've been thinking about my social media content lately i'm kind of lost what to do I was in Vegas this past weekend and I was vlogging some videos and I just felt demotivated because I feel like this channel is so business centric and none of y'all really want to see me be my personal life that I got stuck. So that's why I'm going to start a new series on YouTube. I'm going to document the process of running X8 Media and building Create. We're going to go from mediocre influencer agency to social token DAO that's going to land me a meeting with huge investors like Michelle Fawn. Actually, if Michelle Fawn invested in my company, I'd cry. So if you're interested, like and subscribe. I'm gonna start the series from now on. I'm pretty bad at continuing this, but please keep me motivated. I see your guys' comments on Instagram saying that you're super excited for this new journey. And I am too. I just need some accountability. <laughs> Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you'd like to be the next comment winner, just comment below your thoughts. It truly means the world to me. It helps me keep going for this rough patch. And I love you guys. Darmination, peace out. See you next week. What was this? <laughs> Bye.